Google has just started rolling out what is likely to be the final Android 15 based update for Pixel devices. We're going to quickly talk about what's new in that update and then we're going to pivot to talk about those of you that are on the Android 16 beta and what you need to do if you're planning on getting off that beta and not having to wipe your device. So first off, with this Android 15 update that is rolling out to Pixel devices, it's just a handful of little bug fixes. So we have a fix for degraded microphone recording quality in certain apps, fix for Bluetooth pairing issues with certain smartwatches, and a fix for secondary language displayed in quick settings under certain conditions. And it is basically for all Pixel devices going back to the Pixel 6. Not a very big update, but honestly, it's an update that I'm not sure that we really were expecting because as I wrote here in this article, Google's I.O. event is coming up in just a couple of weeks. You can see here, tune in for live keynotes and sessions May 20th through the 21st. And at this I.O. event, we are expecting to see Android 16 and for Android 16 to begin rolling out to everyone, to your Pixel devices around that time. So the fact that we got this update, with 16 sort of bearing down was kind of surprising. So for those of you that are on the Android 16 beta, you should be running Android 16 beta number four. If you're thinking about getting off of this beta track now without having to wipe your device, here is, uh, as far as the best way I can put it, what you need to know. If you go to the google.com slash android slash beta devices page where you can opt in and opt out, you can go ahead and opt out now on your device that is enrolled in the beta. But what's going to happen is you're going to receive the Android 15 system update. And what that's going to do is it's going to wipe your device. It's going to factory reset it. And that's probably not what you want to do. Here is a good rule of thumb just to keep in mind going forward. You can upgrade your device without wiping, but you can't downgrade your device without wiping. So again, if you're on Android 16 Beta 4, what is an upgrade from there? It's the Android 16 Stable Update. That's the one that you need. So again, if you opt out now, they're going to give you the most current stable release, which is 15. That is a downgrade, and it's going to say in the text that your device is going to be wiped. So if you opt out, do not let that install. It will wipe your device. What you might want to do is wait for 16 to be rolling out and then opt out, but still pay close attention because it might just be that you still receive that 15 update before the 16 update arrives. So if you see it trying to install 15, don't let it. Wait until 16 arrives and it won't say anything about wiping your device and that's when you're okay. Now, if you wait too long, it's possible that they're going to start another beta set of releases because the quarterly platform release, the first quarterly platform release for Android 16 won't be that far from now and that beta will begin relatively soon. So if you don't opt out quick enough, you're going to get QPR1 beta 1 for Android 16. And if that gets installed, you're stuck on that until that is stably released as well. I know this is kind of complicated, but again, just remember, you can upgrade without wiping. You can't downgrade without wiping. Hopefully that clears things up for some of you who've been asking that question in the comments down below as well as in my Discord server. How do I get off this beta track without wiping? That's about as good as it's going to get. There is a little bit of interpretation that needs to be made. You have to watch and see what update is being sent to you. I wish it was a bit simpler, but it just is what it is. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.